Hi again guys, um, today I'm going to be doing Calvin Shrimp, um, it's from the originator of the Park Shrimp um, and it's a, a very good fly this time of year because of its reds and um, bright colours, good for peaty water, good for slightly coloured water, um, good for resident fish and I'm being asked to tie quite a lot of these. I've got about a couple of dozen to do the day, so I'm going to get cracking with this one. Um, so to tie this fly, you're going to need uh, copper tubes. I'm using 19 mil, um, and I've lined them with hot pink. I think it's 1.6 or 1.8 liner tube. Um, Onto the butt section of this fly, I like to put a little bit of hot green wire. I don't know if it's 100% faithful to the original, um, but but that's the way I tie it. Um, the tail is going to comprise of red uh, Arctic runner, orange Arctic runner, and I don't have the pink Arctic runner, so I'm just going to use some pink fox. Um, then when we move on to the body, I'll have this really good Lagaton um, wide flat um, oval tinsel. And the dubbing for the body is just a mix of bright reds and pearls and stuff that really, really look good when you tease it out with the dubbing brush. Um, it's got a wee orange wing. That I just use fox for um, and at the front hackle I like I'm using this red scarlet kind of color just now but you can use a hot orange um, oh yeah I use a little bit of pearl sort of pinky flash in the tail and then finish off jungle cock um, tying thread 6-0 um hot orange and what else but a red liner tube at the back of the fly and i think that's about it um yeah i'll finish off the head as well put some right into that gulf so this will be that'll be the hot fluorescent ambulance red uv resin for the head so let's get cracking just secure the tube in the vise and we'll go with the thread right down to where the liner tube will meet so just a little bit maybe about five mil and this fly's really popular just now um, it's not it's not a new fly it's just seems to be going through the phases once you sell one and then other people see it and they're like, oh, I like that. So, I'll come in with a green in the back. And you're only looking for three or four turns. One, two, three, four. Secure that in. Trim out the waist. So that's a little butt section. So first part of the tail, we'll go with the red Arctic runner. Tail quite sparse. It's a three-part tail, so you don't you don't want to go mad. I'm going to go mad thick with the tail. So that's the first bit. To there. And then lay on top of that a slightly longer uh, piece of the orange Arctic runner. 
you want that to stick out just a wee bit longer probably something around there So that's just a wee bit longer. That's where I come in with one strand of the crystal flash doubled over. So it'll be like that. Tie that in a couple of turns. And then back over on itself. And then just snip that just short of the the end of the orange. There we go. And I'll come in again with the pink. And again keep that short, same length as the red. There we go. That's looking good. That's the tail finished. So now move on to the rib. So tie that in and secure back up to the tail. So we want to add the, the dubbing in here. As I say, just anything bright reds. I've got a bit of uh, blood red ice dubbing in here. I've got a bit of pearl in it. I've got red seal skin, uh, seal fur. Just to get that nice bright body. There we go. You'll be taking that up to about here where the wing goes in. You don't want it too thick. We are going to go over it with a dubbing brush uh, when the fly's finished. Another wee bit. Not much more. And that'll, that'll do us for the dubbing. So then come in with a rub, three or four turns. Two, three, I'll get four out of this, just four. Four, we'll tie it off there. There we go. So, now we'll go in with a just a little short wing. The guard here's like that fox and then just right there. That's fine. Maybe a wee bit longer. Perfect. Now come in with what you want is your size. There we go. So come in with a. That's too long. That's better. Scarlet. Um, scarlet red badger hackle. And get the hackle pliers on that.
sweep the sweep the fibers backwards as you go. And it's easier just if you wet your fingers. Just pull them back gently. One about three or four turns of the hackle. This will probably be the last turn for, for this one. Just take your time, get it right. There we go. We're nearly there. Just got the jungle cock to finish it now. Make sure that ankles sitting backwards like that. Don't worry about these loose bits here, we'll get rid of them with the lighter once we're done. We'll come in with the jungle cock now. Secure that. There we go. We'll just pop a wee bit of super glue on that onto the thread. I'll get the cut that off there. Before I um before I put the epoxy finish or the UV sorry finish on the head just like to make sure there's no little rough bits sticking up. If, if, if there's any wee bits sticking up the the um, the UV will just it'll be it'll be uneven um, so I'll get some of the some of this red out I mean a little goes a long way with this stuff as well when you're putting it on just go Go really slow, take your time. So I just put it on a little needle, just work my way around a lot, a lot of time. If you do make a mess with it, actually you can get it off, you can wipe it off uh, before you set it that is. But it's pretty easy to work with. Happy with that, so just hit it with the with the torch. 
maybe 20 seconds or so. And then finishing touch. Off on a little extension tube for the hook of your choice to sit in when you're fishing it. There we go. So what I'm also going to do here, as well I've got the fly there, is some of that dubbing. Just gonna just gonna gently pull some of that dubbing out into the fly. So it almost looks like a kind of false hackle coming back then. And you can see it now, see that dubbing there? Really good. Look amazing in the water that stuff because it's so uh, translucent and shiny. And there we have it, park shrimp, eh uh, sorry, Kelvin shrimp, um, really good catcher, thanks for watching.